When we had last left Team Bald, they had gained access to the Ducal Palace at long last, by way of securing an invitation from a duo couple of assassins deep within the hidden confines of Ilmater's shrine. Yes, at the Ducal Palace, were they just in time to witness <gasps> the Grand Dukening, the coronation of Saravak, no less. Mm. But, around every corner. Careful not to step in any. But all was not quite as it seemed, for many of the noble men and women who were present at the inauguration were none other than doppelgangers. Whoa! And they reached out and attacked Team Bald. Oh my gosh! And toward the end of the conflict, Saravak fled, running underground, into the... Under city through some sort of weird maze. Indeed, as it turned out, like many cities in a fantasy setting, Baldur's Gate was built on top of another city. An ancient, older city where hopefully nothing weird and fucked up was going on. It was time, however, for Team Bald to investigate. This is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. And for some reason, it is eerily quiet here. Let's proceed forward. There we go. I've got this. Good, good, good. Oh shit, this is a big ass area. Okay. Holy shit. This is the maze, I guess, underneath the... The Thieves' Guild area? Alright. You would assume that, uh... Saravok would have set off every booby trap in the place, but, uh, you know, somehow I doubt that's true. There we are. M1, do you detect anything afoot? You want it? You got it. I don't think so. Alright. How about over this, this way? way? Eh, looks good. Alright. Great. Should we check down this path? This certainly seems I'm like gone. a dead end, but... Oh, is this really like a real-ass maze? This might be like a real-ass maze where there's not actually anything worth looking at. Oh! Slimes. Okay. Let's get Team Bald over it? here. You got it. Good, good, good. Fantastic. All right, lovely. My blade will cut you down to size. Pretty sure I remember going through these exact areas in Dark Alliance, you right? You got it. The like ARPG. Yeah, we'll just quick save and assume that there's no booby traps for now, because so far it does actually seem kind of clear. We'll see how it pans out. I'm sure that we'll encounter some measure of booby trap. Mustard jelly. Okay, I'm tempted to go the route that has the jellies, right? Yeah, it seems to be correct. Good stuff. I've got this. Alright. Yeah, I'm like I'm gooped up. Making me go extra slow. Which is also making me like <laughs> my my movement oh. frames are really weird. Oh look, dinner here automatically slowed poison on me. Oh wow, okay, cool. Well, let's also cure light wounds on ourselves, and let's get Jahira to do the same. There we are, just in case. Yeah, we took kind of a lot from the mustard jelly. A little formidable. All right, let's you want it? get around you this got it. here. Up this way. I mean, is this really a maze or an elaborate tower defense level? <laughs> right? Is that, is that what's going on here? Okay. Oh, look, there's a ladder here. It's not usable though. Oh, great ooze. 
Go for the fallen. ice pool. Go for the ice. Right. Good. Okay. Let's continue on. What waits further down? Hey, the music is back. Let's quick save again. Yes, yeah, so far no booby traps. Wow. Oh shit. Doom guard. Oh fuck. Where do we remember them from? Oh, I don't remember. Really not but we fought it. some before. Definitely. Okay. Dinner here. Cast some magic, if you will. Pew, pew, pew. Let's do some more. Let's get the oh, other one. Really Good stuff. Even more. Very cool. Should be good enough for now. Alright. Don't worry about me. Oh geez, did I remember to actually change out their spells? I don't think so. Hang on. Let's see. Mage book. Dinner here. Let's see. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to. Oh fuck, my bad. Alright. Let's do that real quick. Let's get acid arrow, right? That's what we enjoy. Good. And then over here. Let's get rid of these fireballs. Because they're a little too dangerous. And we'll get the flame arrows. Good. Over here, what have we got? Minor sequencer? What was that again? Hmm. Oh, right. To double the spells. Right, yeah. Okay. We should really try that out. It seems so fun, but uh, admittedly a little complicated to use. Alright. And then for Jahira. Priest scroll. There we go. Let's get rid of Entangle. Is Entangle AoE or... Yeah, it's AoE. Okay, so we'll just get full Light Wound heals. Okay, Charm Person. Yeah, we'll get rid of those. Get some of these. Find traps. This isn't like a pulsating PBAOE or whatever, right? It's probably operates similarly to a thief's ability. Okay. How about... Hmm. Resist Fire and Cold, maybe. Flame Blade. Nah, slow poison. Okay, and then over here, what about this? Miscast and rigid thinking, that's fine. This stuff, call woodland beings, that's fine as well. Okay, let's go back over here, because didn't we have like a weird monster summoning thing? Yeah, okay. Good, we've got it. Now let's rest. No weird dreams. Great. You want it? You got it. Okay, lovely. It was a quick fix. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> okay. When they were, um, when Bioware was designing this dungeon, they went down to Shoney's. Uh-oh, there's the booby trap. Did you hear it? Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> they went down to Shoney's for the, for doing this. And, uh... This. What they did is they ordered a kid's menu, this. and the little maze on the back, they just copied that right into their game. <laughs> the, <laughs> they got some crayons and stuff, and just started- they drew in the little booby traps and stuff where they would place the enemies and everything. That's how they made this one. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do a quick save, I'm gone. and let's send Imo in first. Fuck me, where was it? Oh, it was near this. This, like, telltale sign here. Any second now. It was around this, like, splatter. Choose your friends wisely. There we go. Not all are as trustworthy as Minsk and Alright. And then let's get Cut everyone else the down there. Cut you down oh, the eyes. oh, shit, there are more. 
Oh god. No. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look, there's another splatter down there. Okay. Let's do it. I'm gone. Great. Okay. Did we already disarm it in this this alternate reality? No. Okay, let's pull it back some. More if we can. Okay, good. Oh, I oh. not in this. All right, I think we're fine. Oh. Oh. I mean, I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage. Take that money. Okay. Let's have Jahira toss some healing over here. There we are. Good. And let's quick save again. Done had enough of this. Let's have M1 proceed forward. I'm gone. Oh shit. Okay. Let's disarm those. Oh, sugar. Alright, fall back. And then let's have Adam. Let's also fire off, how about flame arrow? For the fallen! Don't know how much that did. I think it was a miss, even. Yeah, I think it was a miss. Okay. Acid arrow. Eh. Okay. Top ourselves off. Toss healing around. There we are. Let's have M1 proceed. See if we can catch any more of these booby gone. traps. Oh, fuck. Uh, can we have everyone just dodge to the left? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, look, we can heal through that. Perfect, it's fine. Alright. I wonder if you can just have everyone, like, to the side and avoid all of it. Right? <laughs> Hang on, that's a good question. Like, okay, if I have everyone over here to the side... Like, it'll just go whizzing by, right? I can just, like, set them all off with my character. You want it? You got it. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's fucking see. Oh, of course there's no more. There's no more, of course. Right. Surely there'll be some over here. Wow, really? I guess there's no slime splatters. Okay. Oh, there's some blood. Or just uh, other colored slime. Holy shit, okay. Jeez, we went for quite a while there. Alright, let's get the rest of the team caught up. There we are. Quick save. And I'll I've keep scouting this. ahead. Look, surely this will do something. Really? Nothing yet? Okay. Jeez, that's precarious. Okay. Well, let's get everyone around. I can, but try. We'll have Imowen investigate. I've done had enough of this. There we are. Good. Let's take a look at our map. Oh, good lord. <laughs> this fucking map. All right. Let's see. It really, like, they are not fucking around when they say it's a maze. Oh, here, we can try it now. So let's see, if we got M1, like, to the side, and then just gingerly walk along the- Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, that one was like, it, it just insta-zapped her. Instantly killed. Okay. <laughs> This time, Emwyn, you got it. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, look. Wait, what? 
You can do this? This whole time you could just activate trap scanning? And like look over the whole thing? Holy shit, I think so long as there's no like fog of Wow, oh my god. This is how you fucking do Even it. Around every corner. Careful not to step no away. way. You can like manually search for traps. Holy shit. I think as long as there's no fog of war, you're good. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, so long as it doesn't get interrupted with the uh, different icon of like, oh, you can't walk there like that. Let's see. Down this way. Okay, we're good. Great. We're good. Let's get the rest of the team. I've there got this. Are. All right. Anything right here in this doorway? Looks like we're good That's there. Right. Holy shit. If this is for real, like this is maybe the intended way you're meant to do all this. To where it's just not agonizing, you just have to wait. Okay. Oh my god. I'm the smartest man alive. <laughs> Granted, it's hard when there's like a patch and it's not like a, a trap that is just covering an entire corridor. There's something most right. unnatural here and I want no part of it. Okay, we're good. Alright. Over this way. Looks fine. Quick saving again. Alright. Oh, look. Look, so this will be our test. Look, surely there should be some there. Maybe it just glitched out? Because, sure, look, there's a splatter and everything. Yeah, okay. Doesn't work. It was a weird fluke. It was a weird trick. Yeah, see. Nothing. Would have been amazing if that if that actually worked, if you could reveal it uh, preemptively. Careful not to step in any. Okay. I forgot that when we actually have the scanner on like that. She stops detecting traps and illusions. Okay. Good. Oh, fuck. Alright. Well, let's backtrack a bit here. Let's get the rest of the team into position. If we can. Good. This way. Here we are. Get him. This way. All right. Lovely. For the fallen. <sighs> oh. Great. Okay. Now let's top ourselves off a bit, just as well. Let's get Imwin back I into position over here. I'm assuming that's a two-handed sword plus one. Yeah. Okay. No interest. I'm gone. All right. Good. I've got this. And then let's head on out. Continue through here. Look, it looks like it may lead to something. Right? Weirdly enough. Look at how it loops around in this like weird snaking pattern. Maybe, for all I know, maybe this I've is the correct way to go. Okay. There we are. Good. Alright. Probably some up here. I've got this. Okay. Good, good, good. Is there a way that we can cast, like, um, absorb magic on someone else? Or whatever. 
Like, don't we have that ability? I'm trying to think of quicker ways we can get around this shit. Like, does this work on... No, around the caster. Which means dinner here would have to, like, go first, who is probably the last person in the party that should be doing that. I've done had enough of this. Okay. Is this... Something ready to pop off right here? Looks like... Vaguely... As someone who hasn't played it, vaguely looks like... The Dota 2 icon. <laughs> huh. Okay. I guess we're good over here. Really? There are so many places I would rather be. Alright. Let's keep pressing forward you want then. It? You've got it. Good, good, good. Supposedly the slimes are supposed to keep this clean, but I guess that's a telltale sign. Is that when these booby traps are around, the slimes can't clean that because they get they get annihilated just as well. Uh oh. Doom guard. Okay, fall back in one. Going to enrage. Go, go, My boy go. will cut you down to size. Good stuff. Cool. Okay. I've done I'd have to imagine there's another one, right? So far they've like come in pairs. Oh, skeleton warrior. Alright. This way. Whew. There we are. I'm not even gonna bother with their little item. I've got this. I feel like we will not be returning to the city after this. This is this is feeling like pretty um chain of final sequence of events or whatever. Like maybe we could return to the city and all that like we're not at a point of no return. Maybe like we could backtrack if we needed to. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that was berserk state ending. But, you know, I don't think we'll need to actually return back. I've okay. done had enough of this. So far, it looks clear. I'm just going in. Yeah, look at how it snakes around like this. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. Oh, booby traps here, perhaps. Eh? Huh? Nothing? Really? Inwin, are you sure? Okay. Fine. Oh, this one's a dead end. Oh, fuck! Uh -huh. Jesus! <laughs> Man, fuck me. Gosh, and it scares me so bad. Oh. I'm gone. Jesus Christ. Oh. It's the anticipation of it and everything. I truly do not like him <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay. Well, we know not to go down there. How about over this way? It wouldn't be so bad either if these were like very clear marks open like wound in Mother Earth. I would plug it had I the power. Like every time we saw some junk on the wall. It was immediately a sign that there would be a booby trap right next to it. But instead, it's it's kind of not always directly next to it. It's a few feet ahead or in front. Uh, or behind it, I should say. Okay. What the fuck? See, look. It looks like we're actually branching out into a bigger area now. Don't worry about me. My god, look at all this. <laughs> look at this fucking shit. What the fuck? Dude, I was not kidding about the Shoney's stuff. I just didn't know how true it was. Right. I'm gone. Let's continue on up this way. There we go. 
reminds me the first time Don't I was playing me. through Breath of the Wild. And I saw one of those big, like, fun puzzles and stuff. Where they've got, like, a big labyrinthian maze in there. Which, those are really kind of, like, fun at times. Oh, look. When you find them in the, the open world. And you just see, like, what the fuck? There's just a big, weird-ass stone maze out here in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. Winsky Perorate. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, well. I thought it would be you. Quite the little family reunion shaping up now, isn't it? I knew you would follow. You two are of the same blood. You must take the fight to him, lest he strike you down at his leisure. Not that it will matter. You have already beaten him. His plans are in ruins, and his allies are fleeing in droves. Such glorious goals they were, though none understood the true desire behind them. None but me, that is. Unfortunately, I am now expendable, but I expected no less. I guess they're like a... They revere Ball. What was your role in this? Why did you help him if you knew you were to be cast aside? Where is he gone? He cannot hope to hide from me. What did he hope to gain by all of this? He must have known that inciting war with Om would eventually expose him. He wanted death and stuff. Murder and mayhem, right? So as to appease the prophecy. Why did you help him if you knew you were to be set cast aside? Probably because they, like I said, revere Ball. What was my role? I was Seravok's mentor and tutored him in the blackest of rituals. If he had succeeded, there is no doubt I would be among the dead, but my name would live on in his wake. Oh, shit. Oh, I clicked. Let's see. Huh. Oh, God. Would live on in his wake. Oh, Imwin said some shit there too. Huh. Okay. There are things beyond death if you die in the right fashion. And how could there not be a place in history for the architect that shaped the actions of the ascending lord of murder? You would not understand. You were born to affect the realms. The rest of us must carve our own place by whatever means necessary. And then Imwin says, You arrogant fool! Your death will be much deserved! I am dead regardless. Seravok left me here for my failure earlier. He... Oh, no, wait, this is this. Okay. He wished me to dispatch the Grand Dukes rather than effect his escape as I did. He would not consider failing as a possibility, a common weakness in those that would be gods. He will come for me when he realizes his first strike did not kill me. Do as you will. I am resigned to my fate, whether it comes now or later. Excuse me. Seraphok ordered his former mentor, Winsky Pererit. What is that? Is, is it like an anagram for something? <laughs> it's like Wyndham Earl or some shit. <laughs> uh, to kill the Grand Dukes. Instead, Winsky rescued Seravok, who cast him aside in anger. Oh, he was the teleporter person. At the entrance to the Undercity... At at the entrance to the Undercity, Winsky said he had expected my arrival because Saravok and I share the same divine blood. He revealed that war was not the end, but the means to Saravok's goal. He wishes to cause enough slaughter to cause him to ascend, to assume the divinity of our dead father, Baal, god of mur murder. It is up to me to stop him. Saravok awaits in a temple in the Undercity. Okay. Well, I mean, you're a pretty you bad it? dude. You've got it. 
I am the child of murder, so I shall do a little bit of murder. You are really one of the worst. Boom. Yes, I agree. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> reputation went down by 10. Fuck! Alright, I mean, he was helpless on the ground, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I like this, though. Maybe I like this. Maybe I like this. I've got this. Maybe I want to be this kind of animal. Alright. Can we go inside of this? Yes, we can. How do we check our entire reputation and everything as a whole? Hmm. I mean, 10 is a pretty big reduction, you know? That said, nobody's really saying anything to us just yet. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Do I want to keep that? Hmm. That is the question. Do I want to keep that? Like, we could also have... Have it set up... To where, toward the end of this, our character begins some sort of, like, weird... Descent... Into falling into this same trap into ultimately fulfilling the prophecy and becoming some kind of horrible asshole. That seems like a cool arc to have for our character, but at the same time, is this the kind of game that that necessarily supports you having a character with an arc like that planned out? Right? Or are you more is it more intended that you play the game with just your character as is playing to playing to form playing as they would like playing as you've dictated from character creation and you're not meant to have any sort of interesting arc in between the games and all of that huh because if I were to guess I would say you're just meant to play your character as is because that's very Bioware honestly that's extremely Bioware, even in some of my favorite games and all of that that they've done with, like, some of my favorite, like, world building, like, like, shit, like, with Mass Effect, right? Those games hardly, you need to do a lot of... My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure! Like, in Mass Effect, you need to do a lot of, um, jumping around in your own headcanon and stuff in order to justify, like, okay, throughout, like this one specific game, I want to start the first half of the game being, like, Renegade, and then the second half of the game, I want to be Paragon, or vice versa. Right. Boring. It, um... It's kind of... It's, it's way better to just play through the game as one specific of the two alignments. Right? There's not really much in the way of, of nuance or creating or coming up with your own character arc or whatever. If that's what you want. You know? Huh. So yeah, maybe maybe we just fully commit to what we've already committed to. That's my thinking, and maybe that's the incorrect read on it. We're just going off of evidence from other Bioware games. Later ones, granted. Okay. I've got and just as well, I'm pretty I'm almost positive Kotor was like that as well, right? Where you could play as like making light side and dark side dis decisions throughout the game. But I want to say... Well, now I can't quite remember. But I want to say in that game, you were heavily rewarded for just committing to one side or the other. And like, this is a light side playthrough. This is a dark side playthrough. Just as it is in in Mass Effect, right? This is a This is a renegade playthrough. This is a paragon playthrough. And we're pretty much just that throughout the entire game. Right? Okay. Let's proceed this I've direction. Done had enough of this. See if there's anything else here before we go through this doorway. Looks like there is more in this place. Evil round every corner. Careful not to step in any. Okay, over here. Jeez, look at all of this fucking maze, huh? 
All right. Dead ends. That's fine. Okay. Over here. Oh, got a little something something there. Let's take that. Good. And I do wonder if it's... Like, I appreciate it when a game allows you to, like, play a character with an arc and all of that, but I do also think that the vast majority of players who do sit down to play the game aren't, like, thinking that out, right? They aren't considering, like, throughout this one game, I want there to be an arc. If anything, right, like, when it comes to Mass Effect, for example, a lot of your, if you want to have your character make a change in morality, so to speak, you do it at the beginning of another game, right? So, like, maybe in Mass Effect 1, you're Paragon, and then the sequel, from the very get-go of the sequel, you're Renegade. Okay, there we go. Because I, I, don't, I don't know if... I have my reservations about whether the vast majority of players, like, want to... I don't know, want to go through that exercise are interested in that level of of roleplay. So the rest of the systems in the game are set up to support just sort of like fully committing and rewarding someone for fully committing to one or the other. Okay, let's do a quick save there. Good. Oh look, you can actually reach this area by going this way, too. Huh. So there's multiple ways to the same area. Alright. I guess we may as well search the inner confines of this and see if there's anything in there. I mean, even if there is something in there, there's probably it's probably nothing that we want, really. Looks like this is a dead end. Uh. Oh, shit! Oh, God. An Invisa Stalker. Run him on! What the fuck? You want it? You got it. This way. Go, him on. <laughs> okay. There we go. Go, go, go! You want it? You got it. I'm gone. Okay. I wonder how long this thing has been following us in this maze. Maybe it just patrols around? Ooh, it has a horrible sound. It's got quite a bit of health, too. Wow, three grand XP. Okay. Neat. You want it? You got it. You want it? You got it. Alright, let's do a quick save right there. I'm trying to think, there are definitely games in which they are based around, like, there being a big reveal that, um, would facilitate you having your character have, like, a change of heart or whatever, right? Like, I know KOTOR has, like, a big reveal just perfect for that, but that said, I'm almost positive that game still rewards you for fully committing to one, uh, one morality in your playthrough. Right? Okay. And certainly in this game just as well, right? Especially because you de define your morality at the very onset. Yeah. Tis something most unnatural here. I've done had enough of this. Putting ho I, I should say putting holes into my theory that this game would would work well for like having a character arc or whatever. Because you, like I said, from the onset, you just define your character's morality and how you intend to play them. Okay. There we go. Let's go I've down this, this way. Good, good, good. Because, you know, hey, in, in like, tabletop role-playing game fashion, you know, a lot of those campaigns... I've done had because, well of because there's so much player freedom at hand because of you know just the their very nature. A lot of them do support, like have. Whoa, fuck! 
do support your players having like big changes like that, having character arcs in that way. That's kind of what makes them fun. I've got this. So you would think that if anything permitted that, it would be a CRPG, right? If anything supported that level of play, CRPGs would totally support like futzing around with your head cannon in such a way. I'm trying to think if there were any that I've played that did that. Because the issue is as well that even if they do that, like even in the examples where, where they give you a big turning point, like a pivotal point in the storyline, where it would be perfect for you to change like me. a big aspect of your character's personality, even in that, they kind of reward you for sticking you to you what you define from the onset, you know? Even ones that do afford, like, a narrative device or whatever for a character arc. Mechanically speaking, the game still encourages you to just play one way. You, you know, you get, like, stat bonuses or something, or you unlock a different dark side or light side power for continuing down one path. Okay. Don't worry about I'm really me. curious about KOTOR. I may just be totally misremembering it. Okay, let's go down this way. Oh shit, let's get M1 though. I am gone. Not bad. Okay. There we are. Maybe it's more so... Maybe that's it. Maybe it's mostly like games and stuff that don't keep it? track You've of your it. morality. Or make your, like, character's morality fairly unimportant. Like, they'll still keep track of, like, like karmic systems or whatever. But they, they it kind of takes a sideline or a backseat to the rest of the, the story. Or to, like, like in the case of New Vegas, like, faction stuff, this right? Uh-oh. There's something on approach here. Is it another invisible you stalker? You it, it is. Alright. Go for the eyes! Get out of there, M1. Good, good, good. Okay. Man, it took a big chunk out of her. Cause I'm thinking like a um a game like New Vegas actually totally would support your character having like a change of heart and a faction change it? and they even give you explicitly um, halfway through the main storyline. New Vegas gives you halfway through it a great big opportunity to pivot your character's decision making, right? Um, there's even like like factions like they, they legit send uh, representatives from factions to your character to be like, oh hey, yeah, we're willing to forgive and forget because oh shit, we just recognize that you're actually kind of a big fucking deal in this world. Holy shit, uh, you've got something really important for us, and you may be very pivotal, pivotal, pivotal in what's about to happen in this area. So we're willing to look past your past transgressions so you long as you got agree that. We are actually the top dog in this in this fight, right? As long as you decide to back us with your awesome power, and it totally fucking works, right? Okay, yeah, maybe New Vegas is like New Vegas might be the best example of that. Uh oh, another one of these fucking things. Oh, At least I can think of readily off the top of my head. There's probably more, but I just can't think of them. And it doesn't, New Vegas doesn't necessarily, like, track your character's morality and all that in a major way. Like, there is, there is karma in that game, but it plays a pretty back role. Like, I think it only comes into play when it, when regarding, uh, character follower reactions and stuff to you. And whether a follower wants to continue working with you and whatnot. I've got the main this. thing is faction reaction, right? Your faction reputation. Which I said, like, um, one of the cool things is that they do permit you to... to change shit around. And give you, like, a very specific point where, like, you can do that. 
that's very neat. I'm trying to think what else does that. There's got to be something else. I feel like I've played something else that did that. Okay. This way. Good, good, good. Alright. Oh. Part of me wants to just immediately try and think about, like, how Disco does it. How Disco Elysium does handle stuff like that. But it doesn't really get into morality or factions, right? More so ideology, right? I'm gone. And, like, you can have- you can definitely have your character, like, internalize and juggle different philosophies and ideologies and all of that. Which is definitely more core to the game than, than like, a grand sweeping play of factions that you have necessarily much of a say in. You know? You want it? You've got it. Okay. Over here. Yeah, it seems like there's nothing down there. We'll I've do a quick done had peek. enough of this. Yep, nothing. Okay. We can also check down this one too. You want it? You got it. Good, good, good. Oh, you know what? One that that just That's occurred right. to me. It's not even really a role-playing game. I mean, I guess you could say it's role-playing in that Don't it delivers a world with a breadth of systems that makes it feel like you're taking on the role of someone in that world, right? It's a role-playing game in that sense. Um, but Red Dead Redemption 2, with its honor system, you can... It's very much set up to where you can start the game as, like, I guess probably... Uh, like, for example, you could start out as being just like a straight up outlaw and then there's a great moment where you're totally, um, it's great setup for your character to have an arc into being a lot more honorable and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a quick save and let's head on into here. So is this the Undercity now? Well, if it's not the Undercity, ooh, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Alright. Man. At last, I have made my way through the maze and into the Undercity. Saravak lurks nearby. I must find him and kill him for this to be over. I almost feel like that may also fulfill some weird prophecy, right? These two childs of murder, children of murder, murdering one another. Don't worry about me. That feels like, you know, kind of in line with <laughs> with some prophetical thing. Ooh, look at this. Oh, there's like a ghoul down here. Hey, this is like the main exposition music, isn't it? Like whenever we have a dream. Wow, listen to this combat music. Okay. I'm gonna quick save and hope that there are no booby traps around here. Because this is kind of, although it's subterranean, it feels kind of like an exterior area. I think maybe I just dislike booby traps in all games. Yeah, see, this is the music where our narrator would normally take over and be like, You've awakened from a cold sweat. You had a dream of a strange figure, a laughing skull, and Saravok. Doning his big gigantic armor. Go for the ice, boo. Go for the ice, there we go. Look at all these skeletons. Good thing they're just normal skeletons, huh? I'm gone. Yo, this music is so cool. Okay. I'm loving it. Let's do a quick you save. You want it? You've got it. Wonder who this is a statue of. Alright. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, you know what would be fucking wild? If at the end of this, 
part of the city? Like, like what if the Ducal Palace is right underneath that, like, I guess that, is that the Undercity? Is that building called the Undercity? I don't know. Or are we in the Undercity right now? But either way, it would be so fucking wild if, like, the center of Baldur's Gate caved in on itself and fell in on this tunnel after the events of this game. There we go. Take on a shitload of ghasts. Good stuff. Oh, Mince got held. I've got this. Good. Look at poor Minsk. Jeez. What a dude. Hmm. Well, Minsk. I don't know how to help you. <laughs> There we go. Should we should we just rest? I think so. Oh, he was still actually held. Don't worry about me. We were just able to rest him out of it. Rest him out of it. Works pretty well there, huh? Okay. Good. Oh shit. It's the Ultra Skeleton Go! Army! Go for the eyes, boo. Go Holy for the shit, eyes. look at them all. For the Good shit. Good thing we are just fucking obliterating the hell out of them all. There we are. You want it? Plenty of ammo as well if we needed it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Right. I wonder if it's worthwhile for us to be clearing all this out or whatever. Like, will we find anything, I wonder? It is quite big. I guess I ask that because I know we must be getting toward the end of the game. And... I know for a fact that none of our, well, almost all of our stuff does not carry over between games, right? Let's do a quick save. Garaya never mentioned in your childhood anything about this Saravok guy. What could he be up to? <laughs> He seems like he might be mean, because he's got really scary armor, and talks kind of evil. But maybe it's best just to let sleeping dogs lie. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Also, li like we've alluded to before, the shit with Winsky Perodi or whatever their name was. <laughs> Winsky Perogi. <laughs> uh, who the fuck was that? I don't really know them, right? Like we were alluding to earlier, it would have been really nice if the game uh, afforded more opportunity for the main quest and stuff to get to know some of these characters and all of that to where it, we had like a connection with them and whatnot. But like... Do we know Winsky? I don't know. Maybe we did, and we it was just so long ago, and we've done so many fucking side quests and all of that. I've just fucking forgotten. <laughs> right, which, of course, the way you get around that is to just have them be, like, someone who you return to or debrief to after doing those side quests, right? You can still keep them relevant, even if you're doing stuff that's almost mostly unrelated. But in an ideal world, I would say you have your side stuff in some way related to your main arc, right? Jesus, look at all these skeletons, huh? Let's fucking get him! Go for the go, ice, go. Go for the ice There we are. If 
none are better. Look at that. We practically duoed all of them, Minsk. Don't worry about me. Okay. Down and around this way. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's Raven and Haseo and Wudai. Or Woody and Karsten. I think we know Karsten, don't we? Raven. A rather strange place to meet living members of the sunlit realms. I'm curious as to why you are here. Could I rightly assume that you have something in common with the man Saravak Anchev? We have nothing to do with Saravak. He is a vile man deserving only death. We are cohorts of Saravak. It is none of your concern why we're here or who we are. Before we say anything more, would you be willing to tell us who you are? Yeah, tell me who you are. It's weird that you're here. I should say the same to you. Do you have anything to do with the man Saravak Anchev? I'm Ravin. My friends and I are mercenaries in the employ of the Iron Throne. We've been sent to hunt down Saravak. Seems as if he went crazy and started murdering all who got in his way, including Ryaltar and the throne don't take too well to having their high-ups killed. You know, the longer I talk to you, the more familiar you become. You're Lila Schnub, aren't you? Well, well, well. It seems as if we've gotten lucky. Killing you will give us a nice hefty bonus. Sorry about this, but if you're not wanted dead or alive... But you're not wanted dead or alive. Only dead. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Who looks like a wizard? This person, Wudai. Right. Oh, shit. There is a real wizard back there, though. Okay. Wizard blast! Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Everybody take a quick swig. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Whoa, good thing we quick saved. Okay. My Yep, holy shit. Okay. Let's do a quick load right there. Good. You want it? You've got it. Alright, well, we know that's coming. Let's actually buff up then. Let's see. Let's get some haste active. Perhaps this group needs not quite as much help as I thought. Okay, and then... Are members of the Iron Throne necessarily evil, though? I think they're neutral, aren't they? I would guess that they were neutral. Let's try this minor sequencer. Okay, and then... How about we also try... Defensive Harmony. Jeez, it takes her a while to do that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Add spells to your sequencer. I'll just shoot two acid arrows, I guess. <laughs> Why not? I need to kill fast. Oh, look at it go. Whoa. Okay. Let's you do a quick it? save. You've got it. It's rumble time, baby. Yeah, there's wizards in the back. Okay. He is a vile man deserving only death. You have a strong hatred of him then. He doesn't seem to be that skilled at making friends. I am Ravin, in the employ of the Iron Throne. My companions and I have traveled from Sembia to learn what has been happening to our operations in Baldur's Gate. It seems Saravak has been quite busy murdering Ryaltar and any other who got in his way. What he's done to you is anyone's guess. Wait, I recognize you now. You're Lila Schnub. Ah, so you've come down here to end your crusade against the Iron Throne. Well, it'll be simple enough to dispatch you before we do Saravak. My superiors will be quite happy to learn of your demise. Right, I figured there was no way we could talk our way out of this. Okay. Let's go after him. Oh, 
Great. Range. Good. Okay. And let's fire off some shit here. Let's go and use horror, if we can, right on top of everybody here. Get some crowd control going. There we are. We got a couple of them. The wizard is down. I think this might be a healer of some sort. Let's go for them. Good. Now who? Uh, Robin might be some kind of, yeah, d d willed dude. Okay. Now we're just carving through shit. Look, there's a whole bunch of colorful stuff back here. I don't know what it means. Wow, where'd the other person go? Holy shit. Okay. Go for the ice pool. Go for the ice pool. There we are. Good. Dude, the music down here is great. Alright. The grave binder. Yeah. Long sword. Is this just yeah, long sword plus one. This ring? Ring of the Princes, plus one. Pretty sure we've got a lot of those. Yeah, no one can really even make use of it. Alright, that's fine. I've got this. Let's head back to their pile of bods. And we'll investigate all this stuff. Let's see. I guess I could ditch this, like... Potion of power on the ground, and grab this, and pop it in my inventory, and then grab this again. Okay. Let's take a look at these, if we can. Traveler's robe, meh. Studded leather armor, plus one, meh. Another ring of princes, yep, meh. Arrow. What kind of an arrow? Ooh, an arrow plus two. Okay. Sure. I'll take it. And stack that up. Wonderful. Okay, what else have you got? Another arrow of piercing plus one. Okay. This looks important. Arrow of detonation, the explosive ones. Right. Good, we've already got a stack of that. Bunch of money. What about these? Are these fire arrows plus two? They are. Okay. And Khalid has a few of them. So we'll toss those over. Wonderful. Okay. Make sure Khalid is also actually using the flaming sword. Because it looks so fun. Okay. Not all are as trustworthy as these arrows, I'm assuming, or yeah, arrow of biting. Meh. We've just got so many arrows. Arrow of ice. Not even plus one on them. You want it? You all right. It. Cool. Well, I wonder how they got down here. <laughs> all right. Well, holy shit. I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue looking around this subterranean area and head into the uh, the horrible. Undercity. The Forbidden Undercity Forbidden City. It's bad. Bad things will happen. It's got big old skeletons and skulls all over it. Can't be good. Until next time, please take care of each other.